Hi, this is Danelle Flanders with another video for Paper Tray Ink Stamp Affair. And today I'm working on sugar-coated embellishments. Here you can see I've taken a wonderful words die and added some little uh, Prisma glitter stripes. So let me show you how, how I did that. So here I have the wonderful words holiday dies. And I chose these because of the font. Um, it was a little bit thicker. And I thought maybe it would make this technique a little bit easier for the first time just to try it out. Um, what you'll need is some 1 8 inch score tape and some fine glitter. This is Prisma glitter. And for my card, I chose the Peace Word. And I think this would be a really fun technique for a holiday card, just to jazz it up a little bit. So you take your score tape and just rip off a little strip. And if you work on a uh, pad like this that has lines, um, it'll be easier to get the lines straight on your word. So just space them out. Try to get them as even as you can. Pressing down to get the adhesive to stick really well. And I did three strips on my piece word. So push those down really good to get it nice and adhered. And then you'll want to peel off the score tape. Okay, so after you've peeled off all of the score tape, you'll have something like this. And you can see the tape is in the negative of the word also. So there's two, two ways you can take care of this. First would be a little craft knife. If you like detail work, you can just go through and trim it, trim around the word with the craft knife. The section, second option, which is what I chose, is to take your die again, turn this over, and place it right back in your die. I can get it picked up here. Place it right back in your die and run it through your machine again. And that will get rid of all the little negative pieces there. And you'll have something like this. Now grab a sheet to do your glitter. And sprinkle on a little bit of Prisma glitter. And there we have it. Really easy. Now let me show you how I put the card together. For the background of the card, you'll need a piece of soft stone cardstock, 4 inches by 5 inches. And I cut um, a rustic white card base in four and a quarter by five and a quarter inches. So set the card base aside, and we're going to be working with the soft stone cardstock first. Now you can see on my card I stamped a little uh, piece background, and that was made with the Think Big Favorites number nine. Um, here you can see this is all one stamp, and actually what I did was I took the piece and the joy love joy and I snip them apart and it's okay if you do that you can always you know fit them back together and use it as one stamp again if you choose to do that but I just wanted the piece from my background so I mounted that onto my block and you'll want to grab soft stone ink I'm going for kind of a watercolor effect so you'll just ink up the word And just alternate the word every so often to create a uh, just a little variated background. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then go ahead and fill in any of the edges that look bare to you. piece right there. Maybe another little E right there. I've gone ahead and die cut a piece from the mistletoe and holly dies and I'm going to use new leaf ink and the coordinating stamp from mistletoe and holly to ink that up. And I like to work on a softer surface when I'm stamping larger stamps like this. 
So I have a little soft foam mat from Inka, Inka Dinka Doo that I work on. And it should help the impression. So let's give that a go. Okay, that turned out better than the first one. <laughs> okay. Next I have this little guy from uh, the same die set, the Mistletoe and Holly. And I just die cut a whole bunch of these little dots. I'm going to use these as the berries. So I need nine of these. And I have a little dot stamp from the Mistletoe and Holly set that I'm going to use. With Pure Poppy ink, I'm going to ink up some of these little berries with a little dot from Mistletoe and Holly. And they're small to work with, but you can stamp the three berry stamp directly onto your card, but with Soft Stone, I really wanted the white to pop the colors to pop against it. So the white dots will look a little bit better. And I have one more. Now we're going to create the banner that goes under the piece word. And for this banner I've die cut a Bountiful Banners piece and I'm just using the straight one. And with Sweet Blush ink, I'm taking the straight banner from Bountiful Banners, and I'm just going to stamp it right on. Okay. I know that's hard to see with the lighting. You can kind of see that it's sweet blush there. And then for the Be Still, I'm using uh, per Peace Be Still. And I'm using this Be Still at the top here. Okay, I'm going to pick up the stamp with my little block here. And with True Black ink, I'm going to stamp it right on the banner. Okay, now we're ready to assemble our card. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and adhere my background to my card base. I'm using these little adhesive squares by Glue Arts for my adhesive. And you'll want to place that right in the center. Next, the holly. I kind of wanted the holly to be angled down and I felt like I didn't need this fourth piece here so I took some little scissors and I just snipped this fourth piece off okay so I'm going to add some adhesive to the leaves okay and I'm just going to place this at an angle under the banner. Okay. Adhere the banner. To finish off the card, I've gone ahead and applied wet glue to the back of the piece and adhered that to my card. And then I wanted to show you a little tip with the berries. Um, I just use a glue stick and my craft knife and I dip it in, pick it up with the craft knife, dip it in the glue and just attach it. And that's it. I have one more quick idea for you. Now instead of the stripes I had one more quick idea. Um, you could use a Martha Stewart glue pen and just draw little dots on your die cut word. Add the Prisma glitter. And you have a cute little polka dot word. I hope you'll give one of these sugar-coated embellishments a try with your wonderful words dies. 
and enjoy the rest of your stamp affair. Thanks so much for joining us. Bye.